Hello Paleons, today we are talking everything kitchens. Kitchens are a vital room and a great go-to build if you're constructing a house on your plot. So today I've turned to the wonderful community to help inspire you and we're going to tour some beautiful kitchens. Don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what you've done with your kitchen and also while you're down there don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. The let's get to cooking. First up, we're gonna start with a lovely cute small kitchen. This one is by Lilu and it's on a very witchy plot. And as you can see, we have a nice little dining room table in the center. And then that kind of leads you into the whole kind of kitchen area back here. So as you can see, we have a nice mix between the building blocks and also the kitchen prep station, the stove, and I love the shelves that are going on here. The addition of the log shelf into the back there is such a cute idea and then we have lots of different kind of knickknacks all the way around we have shelves with different items on lots of pots and things and things hanging down from the ceiling really to give it that kind of overgrown witchy vibe to it it also has a tree sticking through it which might cause problems when you're trying to cook but i think it looks beautiful there is also a carrot down on here luckily there isn't a knife here so i think you might live to stay another day but yeah really nice you don't have to go super big with your kitchens if you don't want to you can just have a nice little snug corner so the next kitchen here is by Fairy Brie of Isle Sky, and this again is quite a spacious kitchen. I think she's made good use of the space and it doesn't feel overly cluttered. So if you don't like that kind of look, then bear that in mind. This is quite a good layout for that. So over here we have the nice dining area and then there is a fireplace and some cozy little seating and shelving areas as well, which is nice. And then over here we have capital chic dining tables and the sideboards to make use of the kitchen and cabinets, which I don't think is overly common. So I really wanted to show this one because it just shows that the capital chic stuff does work for a kitchen too. I really like this setup here with the shelves and the bottles. It's like a nice little kind of display area and there are some nice details on the sides as well. There is even this cute little pantry area. I think pantry areas are perfect for kitchens. If you want to add something just off the edge of it, then these work wonderfully and the hallways are the perfect size for them. So it's just wonderful for that little extra addition to your kitchen and then round here we have a lovely big kitchen counter which does include the stoves as well so mixing and matching those actual cooking kind of appliances with the the kind of kitchen units does work really nicely and then we have some great details again over here on the walls and i love the fact that she's got the building blocks and then the capital chic items it just gives the kitchen a bit of depth and allows you to kind of add in all of those knick-knacky bits so and we've got candles we've got cups we've got the coffee maker it just helps it make you feel a little bit more lived in which i really like for my kitchens and my builds in general actually i also love the addition of the window the bay window here which is really cute and there's some nice flowers here i love the addition of the veggie box it's kind of like a little herb garden which is kind of cool and then as we turn around as you see just lots more details on the walls lots of pots and pans and potions and spices it's just really nice and then over in the corner we obviously have the two ovens here she's given some height to the foliage as well which is nice and i feel like it just fills out that corner just a bit better the rugs are also nice i feel like adding these in just breaks up the floor a little bit and i think she's been quite smart with even putting that little kind of half circle one underneath the sink because yes they do make a lot of water everywhere if you splash them around. So really gorgeous, lovely kitchen. As I say, very open planned and really nicely kind of thought out. I feel like it has a nice mix with the capital chic and kind of all the rustic little pieces. If you are a fan of clutter, you are gonna love this next one by Libra Bunny. First off, I'm gonna start off by showing you this wonderful fireplace that she has created because it separates off one half of the room. As you can see here, we have the entranceway and then there is this gorgeous fireplace here with all of the details. And then if you just come through here, 
then you come to the kitchen, which I think is a really nice little trick to hide it, but it's so cozy in here, so cluttered, and I love the wall shelves as well. Look at this. We have real um, cooking appliances here. I need to think of a better way to describe them. But yeah, we have the stove, the mixing, the prep stations, and then the oven is actually built into the back of that fireplace. And we have the bookshelves and the countertops here as well. And then if you come round, you can see there's even more workspace, even more of those shelves. We've even got some mushrooms growing out of the wall, which looks really cool. There is a little bit of a setup here where you can sit down and eat some food, which is nicely merged into the counter. There is also this kind of partition in the middle of the room, again, to break up the space, which is always nice, using those pillars, which actually allows for you to put lots of items on top of them. And I like the way that that looks, just makes it feel a lot fuller. Over here, we have some more of those bookshelves and the countertops, again, lots of kitchen items. And then over here in this corner, this is probably one of my favorite spaces. So first off, we have the oven, very cozy, popped in the corner. It's got oven related things beside it, like the firewood and the coal stokers some really nice lighting on the wall as well which gives it that nice warm glow and then here we have like a little breakfast nook which is actually raised up using the builders blocks and then it's got a nice stairway up to it the bee looks at home there very very cozy and then the final thing i wanted to show you was just up here as well again we've used some platforms up to give it some height and this is just like a little kind of laundry come pantry area you've got lots of shelves again storage some veggie boxes and there is also a bay window here so they've made good use of that space as well and there is obviously the sink here as well i really really like this kitchen it is very cluttered which i know won't be for everyone but i think it's got that nice kind of rustic cottagecore-esque appearance to it which is always going to speak to me i haven't even mentioned the fireplace but the fireplace works wonderfully as well especially so it's not just all counter space it gives it that nice break in between the different areas of the kitchen so gorgeous gorgeous kitchen love the layout it's not too small i think it's just the right size next up we are getting ready for the holiday season this one is by akashuya and this one is so cozy so quaint so cluttered as you can see you step into the kitchen through this lovely archway and then straight away you have the fireplace here which is just roaring and keeping the whole place warm we have lovely decor items on either side and even on top of the fireplace as well i love the idea of the mantelpiece everything is very kitcheny you've got lots of kind of bowls and bottles and everything like this we also have a nice little cluttered pantry area over here as well everything is like hanging down it's just all so gorgeous and beautiful i also love the table setup here we have the lovely lights hanging over top but the table has been kind of pushed into the kitchen units as well which is really nice there's lots of plates laid out ready to enjoy your meal and around here on the other side of the kitchen island we actually have the stove area complete with a Christmas cookbook just looks perfectly laid out and then as we turn around we have lots of these kitchen counters as you can see and they are all rammed full which is my version of clutter i love this look so over here starting on the right hand side we have this lovely display you've got the cabinet up top and then it kind of feeds down into the open shelves as well and the open kitchen counter and then as you move along you can see we have the lovely bay window she's very cleverly used the capital chic sink so it kind of looks like it's part of the cabinets as well so i love that idea and the bay window again full of clutter but you get that nice glow from the lights in there as well and then we have that same design over on the right repeated on the left which is very very cute and there is some nice floor items as well if you're just wondering what she's done with the rugs and things and then i just want to show you as well what happens through here i'm sorry about the lights <laughs> they're kind of affecting the camera but this is just off of her kitchen as well this is kind of your big 
family dinner dining area and this again just looks so cozy i love the colors here using that holly kind of wallpaper gives it that christmasy edge and then you have a little bit of a pop of red and a pop of green here and there and the layout just looks delicious i would happily sit down there and eat my christmas dinner it looks like a wonderful wonderful cozy cabin come kitchen area and again this is very easy to adapt um this whole layout would be perfect for any old kitchen it doesn't just need to be a christmas kitchen at all i love this i love it okay next up we are in snoopy news wonderful cozy and really warm feeling kitchen and straight away you can see this gorgeous centerpiece that they have done as you can see they have used lots of the ranch kind of kitchen units and then we have some stoves around the back that Paltec extract fan looks wonderful as well. Lots of details on this whole kitchen island and kind of built up pillar area as well. I love the addition of the pavers. They just make it have like that little bit more depth. The kettle with the teacups, very, very precious. Even the items hanging down from the ceiling are lovely as well. On the outer edge, we have some pantry areas, some bookshelves, which obviously have all of the kitchen kind of goodies on. And we've got that one at an angle again. It does really help kind of fill out the area, which is really nice. And then not all of the sideboards are ranch, which I feel would have been an obvious choice, but there's a lot of warm tones in here. So it's really nice to see some wood again, beautifully decorated with all of that kitchen clutter. And then we have some actual kind of prep stations, the mixing station over here, and some more items on the walls. I love the shelves with the warm tones of the pots and pans. Again, everything feels super cozy in here. We even have some stacks of barrels next to the oven over here. Very, very nice. And then in the corner, she has actually added a little breakfast kind of dinner setup, which I think is a nice addition. She could have definitely added more kitchen units, but having this maybe Makes it feel like a little bit more purposeful i just want to show this through here as well she did say it's not fully complete but i feel like it's a good way to show you kind of how to lay out so you've got the kitchen and then she has a little hallway which leads into the pantry which i think is a super cute idea and then everything just feels that a little bit more rustic in here but i love the corner she's got over there with some of the ranch items the shelves up here with some food items so it's like they're being stored away ready to be cooked or used in the kitchen or of course eaten and then there is some more items over here this area definitely feels a little Little bit more kind of less put together but that's what you want from a pantry so i think it's a really nice contrast to see so for this kitchen we are actually going to be stepping inside of a grand harvest house and i really wanted to feature this one by feluria because I feel a lot of people struggle with Grand Harvest House and knowing how to lay things out. So this is, as you can see, a kitchen come dining area in the Grand Harvest House. So as you come in, you have this large, lovely dining table that has been kind of put together with a few different tables and you have lots of food items, which is nice. And then in the corner, we have a nice little cozy area and another little area over here, which is absolutely beautiful. But that is not what we're here to talk about. We are obviously see here to talk about the kitchen so as you can see you've got this kind of long workbench which is nice as it breaks up the whole kind of kitchen from the rest of the area and this bit is really cute using the building blocks and then putting the pavers over the top works lovely and we have some nice stools here just to give it the appearance of being on the edge and then we have a nice little pantry over here and then it kind of curves around where you've got your ovens and your stoves and I love the details on the walls where you've got like some makeshift items there's things hanging from the ceiling and of course we've got some Paltec extractor fans as well the central island is really nice as well you've got lots of items on there even the little turnip there how cute is that i love using the ranch for these type of things and i think they actually work 
quite well with the kind of builder's blocks as well because they're quite neutral in colour so that's always good. Oh no, not the little carrot is on the chopping block, literally. But these kind of details do help with the kitchen so if you're wondering why your kitchen may look a little bit bare, definitely think about adding in some smaller things. And then I love the kitchen shelves here. I think shelves in kitchens are wonderful and having all of your crockery and kind of those smaller little bits and pieces displayed. And I think the industrial shelves are perfect for the kitchen as well as they're not too elaborate. They're kind of they're kind of what you would expect to see in a kitchen for sure. So this looks amazing. And again, as I say, I think it is a really nice way to kind of break up the whole kind of grand harvest house. I think if you wanted to, you could definitely add in like a partition or something like that to separate it out. But maybe you want to have an open planned area too. And I think this is a really good layout for that. Next up we have Myra's plot and this is a lovely gorgeous kitchen. First off you start with these big doors and then you come through into the kitchen. As you can see everything has a gorgeous warm glow to it which I love about cozy kitchens and I love the setup in the middle. I know we've probably seen this a lot of times but if you haven't it's a really nice way to fill out the centre and I love the addition of the Cernic there just chilling. And then over here we do have some little details, some kitchen cabinets and more green items and then this is quite creative I've not seen anyone do this before putting the pillar and then attaching the wall item to it in front of the sink is pretty cool I like that a lot and then around here you have the oven space where she's added in yet more items a little shelf on the wall some pots and pans hanging down and then there is another oven over here as well I like the fact that she's used the kind of archway this archway here and then she's added in the builder's wall as well just to kind of break up the space and it gives you more room to decorate which is kind of nice and i also like this i know it's just a bookshelf with lots of pots and things on but the colors here are really nice and they kind of tie in the whole kitchen space that she's got going on this area is a pantry that's kind of work in progress but as you can see that's going to be beautiful I'm sure once it's finished but I also do love the dining room here again. The colours, the pops of green, the nice kind of neutral colours are really nice. It feels a little rustic, I like the, the dining setup with the mixed match of chairs as well, very cute. Gorgeous kitchen and I think it's this house is going to be wonderful as well it really has those natural feel to it with all of the greens and the different colors the way that she's used lots of plants and things as well going to be gorgeous for the next kitchen I wanted to bring you to one of mine this is just a really tiny little cottage that I did and of course every cottage needs a tiny little kitchen as well so this is what I did I just wanted to show that you can do something creative and cute even with a tiny little space so this is literally just a corner so all I've done here is use those ranch counters and I've actually intersected the whole chimney area with kind of like one of those spring fevered trellises and then built up this oven quotation marks oven using the builders blocks and I also added the spring fever fire pit at the top to make it feel more like a chimney I don't know if it really does but I, I think it does there is obviously lots of clutter here because I love clutter but I do also love this little kind of workbench area I just turned it around so you don't see the drawers but you can have a couple little stools here it makes for a nice little dinner area like breakfast bar kind of thing and I think it works quite nicely there is obviously some more little details over here just to kind of feed it through into the other areas as well but yeah tiny space but you can still make something cute this next one is actually in fairy breeze treehouse and i think that rustic look would definitely come across with the way that she's kind of laid out the kitchen it is very small it's very cozy but she has done some great things here which i think you could definitely utilize and expand on if you wanted to do another kitchen so she's obviously got this lovely building block wall 
but then she's taken those building blocks and brought them out and then used that as a kitchen counter by adding in pavers over the top and then as you can see she's even added some Paltec items so it kind of feels like an oven area which is very unique. I love the additions of the kitchen cabinets and the makeshift items here. I feel like they kind of match the whole vibe and then we've got pops of blue, the woods and also the greys from the pavers. They all kind of match in really nicely and then we have these lovely orange tones as well which I think work really really cute here. The dangling down of the pots and pans is really cute and I love all of the items over here as well just to make it as I said, just to make these things feel lived in and more kitchen like, having these things will make all the difference when it comes to it. And obviously we got the sink, the ranch items I feel here were a really good idea and it's just a nice little corner. If you're wanting a cozier, smaller build, maybe you're doing like a smaller house, a cottage, then something like this does work really nicely. And I think this is a great way to utilize the space. Kitchens don't always have to be big, they can be small as well and this is a great way to lay one out. Here is a slightly more rustic looking kitchen and gorgeous colours yet again. We've got two rooms put together here. This one is of course by Corey Dune who you can find on YouTube and I do like this layout. If you want a bigger kitchen it is a great layout to have. So first off we have a little dining area, very basic but just what you want for something rustic. It doesn't need to be over the top. And then there is a room off of here which is kind of a bedroom and then we have some details over here we've got a little pantry some details in the bay window which is nice as well i like the fact that she's got both of the kind of like ice box and the pantry next to one another so it does actually look like an actual freezer is in the kitchen i like the fact that we've got little pops of white here from the ranch furniture but there's not a lot of them i also do like this as well this setup is really nice so you have a little bit of a work surface here and then it kind of sticks out into the room to break it up a bit which is a very interesting design choice and i think it's a good choice because of how big the room is and how spacious it is some lovely food items down here some lovely barrels as well i love that clutter and she's even laid one down as well there's some nice details on the wall and also some things hanging from the ceiling which is always a nice thing this kitchen area is really nice i think in my head I would have been like oh yeah let's use the ranch furniture but actually I think the industrial sink really works in this whole area and I do love the detail of the bucket under the sink it's like it's not fully plumbed in so all the water will be dripping down there and then again a lovely fireplace just to kind of bring in that focal point and it really does draw your eye to it and I think because of the type of kitchen this is with it being a more rustic one having a fireplace makes total sense in the kitchen it gives it that kind of medieval feel so what a lovely lovely rustic way to lay out your kitchen and I really like this one as well gorgeous this next kitchen is by the wonderful Anne Berry and as you can see Anne has gone for a very green and white and you can also see the dining room right through which I think is quite a nice touch. This one is quite open and spacious and I really like the use of all of the cabinets up against the walls and you also have the wall cabinets as well which is a really nice touch. As you can see down here we also have some nice little shelves again in that green colour and the pink really complements that Magic Market light as well which is really nice. I also love the kitchen centre here as well. I love these islands that people keep doing. I think it's a really nice way to kind of break up the space. And then over here she's used those building blocks and the paver combo and done all around here which is nice because this area feels like slightly less like a functional kitchen area and just more as like a decorative area which I quite like the contrast and then over here we also have an oven hidden in a hallway which is a nice detail I love all of the feature here with the curtains as well such a nice way to display them and then through here this is the kind of more dining area and this is very cute again we've got the green the pops of green come through with the lily ember born furniture and also some nice little decor pieces look at this very cute and then there is also like a little breakfast nook area over here which i think is a nice touch really like that 
and of course the cozy fireplace. There's something about fireplaces in kitchens and dining areas that just elevate and th make things feel even more cozy. So this is a really nice open plan, spacious. I think the color choices are wonderful. I love the tile wallpaper, it's really, really good. So a nice open plan kitchen if clutter isn't your, quite your style. If you want to get really creative, you can even make a kitchen out of a courtyard like OG Chris has done here. In the center area, obviously we have the whole kitchen set up. We have this lovely kitchen island area with lots of mixing and prepping station. And then in the middle, you've got kind of a kitchen counter with all of that clutter and that looks beautiful. We also have some rugs on the sides. And then this is also where we have yet more kitchen cabinets, yet more clutter, also some stoves and some ovens as well. And then as you carry around, it's kind of replicated on the other side there is a few pumpkins here and there as well and there is some nice lighting as you can see Chris has added lots of lights to the actual courtyard area so at night there'll be a nice glow and you'll also get the glow from the candles in the corner as well as you head up and around you'll see there's some more counters some more kitchen decor there's even the Paltech refrigerators because this is some industrial cooking so you need lots and lots of refrigerators I just think this is a very unique kitchen it's definitely something that's a little bit different and if you're thinking about how you can kind of do an outdoor kitchen maybe think about doing it in a courtyard as well just something a little bit different definitely definitely inspiring next up we are on leafy's plot and as you can see from the exterior here this is kind of like a back entrance into the house she has actually added some little kitchen stuff on the exterior as well which is quite nice but if you just head through as you can see we step into the kitchen now this is a very interesting way that she's laid it out she's actually put together two rooms and they're not the big rooms so you get a nice kind of galley effect ish i mean it's obviously quite bigger than a galley kitchen but it's got that nice lengthways to it which i really really like and then over here in the corner we have some of the prep stations we've got items on the walls this wallpaper is gorgeous for a kitchen i think it works really nice and this floor is also a very good choice and then over here we have a little pantry section with some lovely food out on display the capital chic in the classic colorway is really beautiful and i think it's nice to see it in a kitchen as well some people like to have bright vibrant kitchens and this is definitely one of those and then over here we have a little washing up area leafy has even added in some little cups and things which is a really nice little touch over here and then we have some cookbooks up on the shelf I feel like people forget about cookbooks, but they exist, so it's nice to see them included in the kitchen clutter as well. And then back around here we have yet more food items and yet more kitchen stuff. We've even got the stool in here which acts as a little bit of a grill and lots and lots of crockery and food items, very delicious. And of course, Ref is here. He is our boy for everything cooking related. So <laughs> it's nice to see him on the wall. Again, the colors in here are all very warm. I really like the way that she's tied in all the different colors. I think this whole shape is just really nice and it's nice to see a different layout for sure. So thank you, Leafy. This next one, again by Fairy Bree, does have a wonderful cottage feel to it. And again, I wanted to show off what she's done with the cabinets and you can really see that. So we have quite a large spacious area. So we have the dining table here, which again is quite different. There's this lovely little dresser combo using the ranch nightstands, which I think is quite clever, and then having the shelves. So it kind of feels like one unit, but it's not quite. And then as we move along, we come to the kitchen itself. Again, we have this trellis and dresser combination I love this and you can do it in so many different ways it's just something a bit more elevated than just placing down simple kind of sideboards not that there's anything wrong with that but I feel like breaking it up once in a while adding some height really works nicely I love the combination of the wool and the white it really helps it pop a lot more and if you're a, if you're a fan of neutral colors and this is a good combination I love the way that she's had this whole island sticking out here and I love the way that she's managed to kind of make them all really nice and seamless and then she's even added in the kind of kitchen appliances around here as well. It looks really smooth which I think is really really important 
and I think it takes a while to get that right so I'm glad she's taken the time and then over in the corner we have a little pantry and an oven and then this around here this is really nice having the bookshelf on an angle and managing to get that sideboard on an angle just makes it feel a little bit more interesting not just having squares and like matching the walls and having that kind of angle is really really pretty and kind of makes it interesting on the eye and then we have some nice little wall items as well using those cupboards using those things hanging down it just works really nicely and I love the fact that she's got the sink in front of the window because I feel like you always need you always need a nice little bit of a view when you're doing the dishes just to keep it a little bit more interesting definitely but yeah this is a great layout I love the mix match rugs on the floor as well it definitely has those cottage vibes for me which is one of my favorite aesthetics that's for sure Another one of my kitchens is on my witchy plot. This one is very, very purple. Obviously you can take inspiration from this and kind of adapt it to whatever theme you're going for. But over on the left hand side, as you come in straight away, we have a little kind of pantry washing area with the sink and the pretend washing machine. And I love the clutter here. I just tried to tie it all in like towels and things like that. And then there is another little pantry come storage section over here which has used the ice box a little bookshelf with some pots and things on top of and then it's kind of quite a big area for the kitchen counters again as you can see I've colored everything into the berry colorway just to tie it in nicely but you do have that kind of sticky out bit where you can have some more stools and there is of course the kitchen island which I managed to sink in kind of a stove into it just to give it that kind of effect I do like mixing and matching the different kind of actual cooking appliances with just non-cooking things because i think they are good decor pieces as well as being obviously functional and then there is like a little crockery stand over here and i do have a little dining area as well this is kind of the only dining space within this cottage so i thought it was quite important to get that in we obviously have the dragon tide thing with all the the plates and stuff and i thought that that worked nicely and there's a nice little setup with all of the food items some tea very important if you like tea i don't like tea but <laughs> it looks cute anyway so there we go that is a very purple kitchen i hope this gives you an idea of the layout this is a large room so it is quite big it is hard to make it feel full and that's what i like with my bills so i hope i did an okay job at that this next kitchen is very autumnal and it's by Rayafi and they have also gone to town with the builder's blocks. So I love the way that they've managed to do this. It's quite a large kitchen which is sometimes nice. First off we do have this gorgeous dining room set up. Love the square table and with the centerpiece in the middle with the flowers coming out of it. Absolutely beautiful and the rug there as well. How they've managed that I'm not sure but it looks great. And then if we spin round back and look in the kitchen as you can see we've got lots of food items here. But I love the way that they've done this with the mix match countertops to get those autumn colours in and also this. This is a really nice room divider and I love the way they've managed to display all of the food items. It looks really really neat and I also like the symmetry of it. So we have two ovens on either side, the stoves on either side as well. If you see you can go all the way around and really interact with everything which is nice. The colours are just gorgeous here. I love the autumn colours. You've got a really good palette. And this floor, I probably wouldn't have chosen, but I think it works really nicely. And then through here, it kind of continues on where you have your pantry section with all your storage room, your kitchen, kind of utensils in here as well with some pots and pans. There's also even some pumpkins, which is perfect. The sinks in here are nice as well because this is where you can come and wash up everything. It almost kind of feels like quite an industrial sized kitchen, which I kind of like about it. So if you want something bigger, this is definitely a great layout to take inspiration from. And there is lots of cute details here. And I think the builder's blocks are definitely a great asset for kitchen building. So here is some proof of that. 
Up next we have Emily Ann's kitchen and as you can see Emily's kitchen is behind this wall of weeds which is pretty cool and then you step in and then wow you're greeted again with another piece of nature with this giant tree trunk which is pretty cool and again Emily has made great use of the builders blocks I love this section here with the builders blocks and then the pavers and the pillars as well I think these work really nicely with the autumn colors that she's trying to get in the corner here we have lots of clutter again she's intersected some builders blocks with the appliances which is pretty cool and also this is just pretty as well over here the Paltec shelves are really nice this also kind of has like a dining area as well it's not a huge kind of kitchen area but it does have a really nice display here with loads of food items set out and we also have this sink area over here which is gorgeous you can see the lovely view coming through the bay window and there's lots of items kind of scattered around here which is pretty cool and then around here there is um another oven and in here is just this little pantry here which has the lovely kind of fake washing machine look to it and she's managed to also get in the clothesline as well which I think is pretty cool I just think it's really nice it's cluttered it has quite an eclectic feel to it like lots of different things all put together but it works it works really nicely it's a good size it's not overly cluttered you can easily get around which is always good if you want some ideas for another smaller kitchen then check this one out by Harlequin Law. She has done so many good designs and this one is very quaint and cosy. As you can see this is a living room space with a little dining table over here which feels very cosy. And then on the right hand side you also have the kitchen which is really nice. It's got that long wall feel to it which I kind of think is, is a good way to go for a smaller kitchen because then you have room for lots of other things in the room and this works nicely with the green and also the brown colors I love those colors they're so pretty this section is nice over here having the little stove on an angle and also having those builders wall behind it gives the illusion of like a splashback kind of effect and it also breaks up from the tile which is is quite quite bright but it goes well with this area there is a nice little section here as well with some food displays. I love the L shape of the ranch tables put together. Those are just a winner, a real winner. And using that cup trick, that pillar method, the alt select of putting them closer together really does work well. So it is a really gorgeous little space, just nice, simple, but very effective. And Bree's final kitchen is on this autumn kind of witchy plot. As you can see, there is a cauldron behind me, which is so smart. But this obviously isn't the kitchen. It's just through here, down this lovely little corridor, and then you come into the kitchen here. This one is slightly smaller, but I feel like she has managed to cram lots and lots of kind of kitchen items in here. You have the nice shape here. Again, she's made use of that diagonal, and then she's added in the kind of appliances the counters around the edging which offers a nice contrast you can get items in behind there because she's used that so we've got the pumpkin in there i love the tiered fruit baskets they're such a good item so seeing them makes me very happy the color choice of the orange against the black is really interesting it's definitely giving halloween vibes which is really nice and we have a nice mixture of heights here which is really interesting so we've got the high pantry and then the sink which is lower mixed in with the nightstand as well which again just makes it a nice viewing experience that corner bookshelf combination again chef's kiss just nice to see it in a different position and a different way that she's used it and then round here we obviously have the oven and the stove i love the addition of the powertech item overhead as that extractor fan and some more interesting shelves up top as well all of the nice little knickknack bits as well the food this will just always always elevate your kitchens so if you're looking at your kitchen and thinking what's wrong with it clutter may well be the answer so food items jars all of that good stuff will definitely help make a difference to your kitchen this is just a fabulous layout it does have that more l shape 
kind of feel to it which is very interesting and then as you can see here it does flow into the dining room as well which is pretty cool and it does make for an interesting layout plan if you're thinking about how you can make your house flow and you don't want it all to be one big square yes i love this one i think it's very very smartly done and it looks gorgeous as well and the final kitchen I want to show you is probably the smallest one we've done and this is on my coastal cottage pop which everything was made out of building blocks so I didn't have a lot of space at all but I just wanted to show you that you can really make something super tiny and super detailed so here we have the ranch countertop and also the ranch sink the ranch countertop is turned around and then there is some shelving items behind there there's also the cupboard here i decided to use this makeshift pantry as it kind of fitted in really nicely with the color scheme and you might be thinking well where are people going to sit and eat their dinner well what i did here was i intersected a dining table with some builders blocks and then that just gave you enough little kind of space to put some food items and also give the idea of that there is a dining space as well is just really cute and adorable and if you like things in small packages then this one might be some good inspiration for you so there we have it there are 20 kitchens to help inspire you in paleo i hope you found this video helpful but i really have to do a massive shout out to everyone that was involved in this it wouldn't be possible without all of your wonderful designs so i cannot wait to see what you come up with next don't forget to like the video and also subscribe but have a great rest of your day goodbye